Hi all, I am Bishwajit Nag and uh, today we are going to take this session on pivot tables and the course name is pivot table understanding the most powerful feature of Excel. Uh, the course that we are going to cover today would be uh, creating pivot table, manipulating pivot table data, grouping by date and time, grouping by other factors, using slicers as well as finally we will go with the pivot chart. So in this I would try to cover most of the features which we have for the pivot. Uh, during the session if you have any question you can go ahead and raise it on your chat window uh, on the question window and I will try to answer. Mm. During this one hour session uh, we are going to look in depth uh, the feature called as pivot uh, available in Microsoft Excel. Uh, this is a registered uh, name in Microsoft by Microsoft and uh, it's used for representing the data or summarizing the data post to the analysis. This helps you not only quickly represent, it, represent the data but also gives you the flexibility of changing the content on the go itself. Uh, you can use this feature to even automate or show data in uh, dynamic dashboards and so on. So the contents that we are going to cover, uh, as I said, creating of the pivot table. So starting with the content, I have an Excel file which was available on internet, which I have used it to show the details. Uh, this is about uh, uh, a furniture sales store uh, and the data is during the year 2011 and 2012. Uh, if you see at the left hand side of my screen, uh, this is the complete data you have and this says about the salesperson, the product, region, customer, date when the sales was made, what was the cost, how much was the quantity and so on. If you see at the right side of uh, the sheet, you would find there is a summary of the content and when I have used this particular, the time when I, so some of the people are saying that they are not able to view the sheet. Uh, I, uh, uh, Shivram, I'm not very sure. I just wanted to check with others if you all are able to view the sheet. Okay. So Shivram, there could be a little delay or uh, could be possible there is an uh, internet disruption. So you may uh, try to re-log in and that might help you. Uh, there, uh, so I would just continue with this. Uh, so if you see at the right hand side, I have the summary of all the contents there, uh, which is displayed from the list we have at the left hand side. And what I have done is I have written few formulas there, uh, which is about the sum if uh, this is little complex formula uh, for beginners. However, that's what I have done and I have got the output. However, this needs some time. It would need at least uh, 15 to 20 minutes for somebody to go ahead and design and do the all this kind of contenting. But with the pivot, uh, pivot table within less than 10 seconds, we can actually get the desired output as we have at the right hand side. Before getting into the pivot, how to create that and how to link the data and all those things, uh, there are few requirements that uh, you need to ensure when we are using a pivot table. Uh, if you see my data, there, that is in a list format. So pivot picks up all the data in a given list, the continuous data. So we cannot have uh, any, uh, any of the column uh, blank in between. Every column should have a valid heading or could be any heading but it should have a heading and uh, there should not be any uh, blank columns also or rows in between I would say. So we cannot have that way because pivot takes all the continuous set of data there and uh, the best example would be the list that you are viewing here. So let me just click on any of the data here and you would find this pivot feature in uh, the home ribbon insert tab. I'm just clicking on that and under insert tab you have pivot tables. So uh, there you have to just click on that and as soon as you click there a pop-up that comes up in front of you which says create pivot table uh, and in this one it has actually highlighted the all continuous data that you see at this point uh, the place where I'm hovering my mouse so it has automatically it has recognized that uh, from a4 till h913 to select the data let me just show you an example before proceeding further let me just show you an example in case I have a blanks 
in between uh, so I'm just putting a blank line I'm just inserting a blank line and now if I go ahead and try to do the similar thing under insert ribbon pivot table uh, you will see the table which is selected is the only up to the line item 22 uh, not more than that so we have to ensure that uh, we can get this data that should be a continuous uh, data so I'm just deleting this content this empty line there and we have the pivot table in front of us so uh, the version of pivot uh, I would say the office version 2013 has an additional feature which says recommended pivot table we'll look into this uh, what is recommended pivot table before that I will just try to create a pivot table uh, Sharath has also asked me a question Sharath, just give me a couple of moments here let me just uh, go ahead and just uh, do the needful on the first topic and then I would start answering the questions so Sharad, I will park your question for now uh, and your question is can we hide rows or columns and do a pivot table to work uh, I will cover that that is there in my uh, next few chapters you will find that information also so I just go ahead and uh, highlight in any place and just go ahead and click on the pivot table uh, by default it selects the range of data and then it gives me two options there the first one says is a new worksheet the second one says existing worksheet so let's try to see what we can do with the new worksheet and later we will go with the existing worksheet also on top of that if you see where I have kept my mouse pointer and there you would see we can also link data from external data source I will try to give a quick example of that uh, but before that now let's start with the existing information and what we see on the right hand side of the screen behind this create pivot pop-up that's the place uh, just let me scroll up yes from column J we have a table where all the formulas are written and the output is displayed so I just click on OK with a new sheet so as soon as I do it throws me an error because I have not gone ahead and because I have cl clicked on column J so this content is wrong all I have to do is again click on the continuous data as I said earlier and I have to just go ahead and click on OK so once I do that it just gives me a new window in a new sheet and it gives a name also to the pivot table called as uh, pivot table one uh, on the right hand side of the screen you would have seen a couple of fields those have come up uh, and this are the headings or the data uh, data content we had at the beginning and uh, beginning of the uh, screen so they are listed on top to down fashion and the bottom part of the screen has a couple of other things like filters columns rows and values we'll discuss them one by one so first to create a pivot table uh, what we are going to do here is we are going to go ahead and select the products so I just click on the product and as soon as I click on the product I get a content uh, which is there uh, and uh, by checking that all the contents which were listed and they are in unique numbers there I mean so the unique names uh, the product is selected and I would like to also see something called as product item this is also a text and whenever we click click something which is of text format by default it goes to row so let me just show you that it has come up there I'm sorry that was a number so let me take a region so by default region goes below that under the rows I would just remove that and go to the number field whereas uh, the item is number of items sold and anything which is item sold or anything which is in the number format goes under the value by default and by default it uh, takes some of it you would see the sum is already highlighted there let me also have uh, the region where it was sold I'm just taking on the column so if you see in the table it has just given me a table where by region wise which product was sold and how much and the total value of 7997 has been taken there so let's go back to the sheet where we had the data and the table which was designed and in this we have designed is by the salesperson name and the left and by the product on the top so same fashion we can create the content here by just changing the details so I go ahead and either go ahead and put it on top or remove that region 
and swap the product for giving me the product name and at the left I would put the salesperson so as soon as I do you see exactly the same table which was created by using formula which would have taken easily 15 to 20 minutes to create but uh, within a couple of clicks we are ready with it and the best part of it is it don't contain any formula inside it rather is just calculation is done at the back end so that gives us a basic pivot table uh, once you see a pivot table uh, you would also see on the top it says column label and row label uh, this is something which is pretty annoying in case you want to send somebody this data so in that scenario what you can do is you can quickly go to the analyze tab and under analyze tab you have field headers you can click on that and that would immediately remove those names from there uh, however as soon as you remove that you also lose the capability of filtering so in case ever you are going to do that you have to ensure that you do the needful filtering first however there is another way of doing it I am just clicking on field header and getting that back so I have those field headers and under design tab I have a report layout and in report layout I just click on tabular format so as soon as I do that it gives me the exact name of those fields like product and salesperson and that's the way we can quickly display the content there with a meaningful heading and name that's the way we create a general pivot table now if you would have noticed uh, I'm not very really sure if everybody would would have noticed this whenever I click inside a pivot table I have two tabs and a heading there called as pivot table tools and below that I have analyze and design to tab and right hand side I get the pivot table field if I go out of a pivot table by clicking somewhere outside immediately both disappears so whenever you want to edit or modify anything in a pivot table you can do quickly is just click on the body of it and you can get the content up there so that is the basic way of creating a pivot table let me also quickly copy this content in a brand new Excel sheet I just press control N and I have just copied this and I am saving this on my systems desktop so just give me a moment save as and I go to my desktop and save it with the name as book one itself I'm just trying to show you how to do an external data connection so I do save as let me make it as a table also that would be easy for us so I've just pressed control T that is the shortcut for creating a table so I've just done that and I have clicked OK so uh, Satendra just give me a couple of minutes here I will start answering the questions so I have the table here and I just save it and come out of this sheet I've just closed it and in our sheet I'm just pressing here I'm just opening a new sheet and trying to connect with the pivot table so to connect an external data uh, I would go to insert ribbon pivot table under pivot table I will select here the name range is not taken table or range is not taken so I just do a use an external data source choose connection and that would give a new window and it would ask me from where to take it so we will not do all these things quickly we'll go to browse for more and as soon as I do that I have the window for browsing out I go to desktop I go to book one and now when I select that it has actually selected the content for me see here select table and it says the table is in sheet one there is only one table there so I'll just click on OK and it also says that first row of data contains column heading yes that do contain so let it be checked click OK and my pivot table is up there uh, the content comes up in front of me I have all the headings there now I can produce exactly the same thing uh, by going ahead and taking the salesperson name in the row and by taking the item number on the right and I'm sorry the item number should be the value and the product should be on the top 
So I do that, and if you see on my screen, uh, it is going going to give me exactly the same value 7997, and this time the data is from external source. There was a quick question by Vinod Kumar who says, can we have the SQL, uh, can we have the data from SQL database or other database as external data? Uh, absolutely, you have multiple formats from where you can go ahead and get it, but currently we don't have that included in this session uh, but yes uh, that is possible and we do I do in my regular day-to-day -day activity the same thing uh, usually when there is a data table or file maybe like an access file or a SQL file where the huge amount of data is there because Excel would be not able to uh, go ahead and work with a data file size of maybe a GB you cannot ever see an Excel file with a GB size, whereas you can create a pivot table from external data source using uh, files which is a uh, like, for example, in Access, which is of 2 GB size. And I hope that answered your question, Vinod. So let me quickly get back to track, and I'm just deleting these two sheets, which was of which we created during the session, so that I keep the practice file as it is. And I will share this practice file at the end of the session. So I have the content again here. And as I said in Excel 2013, we have a new feature which says a recommended pivot table. Yes, let me just show you that. Uh, this is the one which called as recommended pivot table. And if you see the description, it clearly says, want us to recommend a pivot table that summarizes your complex data. Yes, I want you to do so if I go ahead and click on that it's going to open a new window in front of you and it's going to give me a possible list of uh, pivot tables that could be made out of this so it so shows some of item by region it shows some of item by region again by cost by total sum cost and so on in case something that meets our requirement there all we need to do is just go ahead and double click a uh, single click it would show me the preview at the right hand side where I'm hovering my mouse and uh, if I don't like I can just go ahead and make a change and select something that I have and just click on OK that creates a uh, data for us and here I've just quickly done is uh, by the name of the salesperson how much quantity they have sold and what was the cost so the total output but you would not see any kind of formula that is coming up you can quickly sort also by default pivot table gives you the sorting in ascending order uh, on the row label but you can go ahead and make those changes by using the other formatting details. Uh, we will see uh, now and then when we are performing the activities. So I will do that also for you all. So let's move to the next topic which is about the manipulation of a pivot table. I exactly have the same table just few moments back which was created under the tab called as manipulating and in this I am trying to go ahead and show you the different things that we can quickly do with the data uh, to display the contents in a more meaningful way. So I have Vikrant who is asking can we have more than one column in value? Uh, yes, and I'm just going to go ahead and show you that. Is that a good way? Uh, depends on your requirement actually. Pivot table comes with a caution. You should know exactly what you would like to display as the final output. So if you are pretty much clear about your output, then yes, you can have the multiple details there. I will try to show you multiple fields, adding up, filtering, and all those things in this particular topic itself, Vikrant. I hope I tried to answer so let me just go ahead and proceed further so uh, here we have a pivot table and we don't see at the right hand side of the screen where my mouse is currently blinking at that point we don't see any kind of uh, the pivot field settings coming up there so I just click on pivot table at times what happen is when we go ahead and represent people actually try to do is either X out this uh, pivot table fields or they just right click and just say hide so the way you have hidden that you can also get it back by clicking on the same 
So what I'm going to do is I just wanted to show you how we can quickly display multiple things in the same pivot table or use same pivot table in multiple ways. So at this point we have product and salesperson given. So salesperson how many products sold. But what happens is uh, my boss says uh, this all is pretty good. I'm fine with it. But uh, for me very important is what is the region distribution. How much sales did I made in the region. So instead of creating a brand new pivot table either you can change it or you can even do is just highlight the pivot table do a control C go ahead do a control V it pays and you leave the top data as it is however what you do is you just instead of salesperson you remove the salesperson and you just add up the region there. So as soon as you do a region adding up there so region wise how much product was say, uh, sold however boss would be more always looking towards how much money did I made out of it. So instead of having a sum of numbers total number of items sold I'm just putting the total cost there and here goes how much I have made sales there. I do see the content and uh, boss is pretty happy about it boss says uh, can I have can I select something can I do something wherein I would know who made how much sale in which region yes boss you're always right so let me go ahead and do that so what I do is I take salesperson and drop just below the region so now if you see my table you would find that uh, by every region I have the name of the person and how much they have sold the content now if my boss says that I also would like to know how much quantity they have sold I will go ahead and quickly take the total number of quantity and just place below the product. Uh, this looks a little confusing so I just try to go ahead and toggle that and uh, that's what I get. I get the total quantity but uh, this is pretty confusing so I would suggest or we can suggest to boss. Boss I can do one more thing is I give you an additional pivot table where I can have all the counts region wise. So boss says this is pretty fine. Thank you for that. Uh, as you have shown me I can do myself the movement of the data. So that's the way you win over the confidence and uh, same way uh, you avoid writing multiple tables and uh, stopping the flexibility of quickly changing the content there. That's the way you can go ahead and do the manipulation of the data. You can also do is you can take the salesperson on top or rather we will leave salesperson there we will take the uh, region on the top and uh, this brings in filter feature available for us and here you would see is region wise all the regions have been selected and is selected as all and all the region total value has been given. So this figures are pretty big so let me again switch back the content I will just remove that and make it total number of item. So 7997 is my final output and I have the content in front of me. So uh, my boss says okay now let me see how much do I made in Northwest. So I say okay and I have I have sold 1354 items there. Uh, next is again we can make one more thing is select that multiple selection and we can do northeast and northwest together and we can see the output who all have sold and what quantity is available there. That's the way we can have multiple contents there and that gives us the flexibility of how to go ahead and modify the details. At times could be possible that uh, you would need to have multiple pivot tables. There is no harm of creating multiple pivot tables. It would give you exactly the same output. However there is a little catch there. Let me just explain that also. The data for this pivot table is there is a question from Vikrant what should be a be in column in general. Uh, Vikrant uh, it's up to you what you would like to take up there. You can have multiple things also there. Now I am displaying product. I can just remove out the product and I can put customer name there. Based on your data set you can keep on changing what kind of content you would like to have there. I hope that answered your question. So uh, let me get back to the topic there uh, and the topic that I was trying to explain here is uh, the data what is displayed in the pivot table. Uh, sometimes we need to know where the data is and the best way of checking out where the data is coming up from is you can click on 
inside the pivot table and then you can go to the analyze tab and under analyze tab you have data change data source I've just kept my mouse pointer there so as soon as you click there it takes you to the sheet in background showing that creating and it is it has highlighted the complete table content now you have option of even changing this to an external source or you can go ahead and use it a different range of data or by changing the content so that would be doing that and uh, there is another question there which says can we add new columns manually to the pivot table so manually you cannot add any in between any tables anything in that that's what I've just tried to show you by right clicking and inserting a column but yes you can manually enter the data in column and that's what I was uh, in the in the data dump you can enter there uh, Venkat and I, that's what I was trying to show you uh, whenever you have any additional field or any additional data let's try to insert in our data dump the list we had so what I'm going to do here is I'm just inserting a blank column there and I say here is city C -I -T -T -Y, city and here I can give Delhi Bangalore and so on we can have multiple things however if you go back to the pivot table and if you go back to the columns here you would not find that coming up the only way you can get that data is to refresh your pivot table the easy way of refreshing is alt f5 that's the shortcut uh, hold the alt key and then press the f5 key on your keyboard that would refresh the data and as soon as I have done that you would see city has come up there the city field uh, now uh, this was one example that I wanted to explain uh, Venkat I hope that answered your question uh, the other thing that I wanted to explain there is I'm just doing a control Z to remove the content that we have added I'm just yes Delhi Bangalore city and the field has gone if you see on the data here uh, you will see uh, Harland is the person who has made a maximum sales of quantity that is 1068 and uh, the total product sold is here is 7997 so I just go back to the data and what I do is I quickly change the value of Harlem so instead of 9 what I do is I do 12 and with that my table content formula everything has changed so I hope that my data also gets changed in the pivot table no however I don't see the quantity has actually changed if you see my mouse pointer neither it is showing there nor in the total the way to get that back is or to get the data refreshed you have to do either you press alt f5 that would make this as 8000 at 1071 as the detail and also uh, you have another way is to go to the analyze and click on refresh uh, if you click on the drop down you would get two options there one is refresh and the other one is refresh all refresh would only do alt 5 action alt f5 action that is refreshing single table whereas if you do a refresh all you would see the refresh happening across all the tables so that's what and there is a question from Satendra if we change the main file data will it reflect in the pivot table no Satendra it would not reflect automatically you have to perform this refresh function to get the data coming up into the table at times your table size increases at times your content changes at times uh, your detail changes so in order to get the latest data you have to do is you have to click on the refresh button or you have to press alt f5 or alt ara to get the data there so that brings me to another topic uh, as we were discussing getting the external data so what happens is let's consider that uh, this uh, particular pivot table has actually given an external data or I can do is I can just copy this into a new Excel sheet and just paste it it would give me exact pivot table and it is still connecting to the data which is in the different sheet so if I go to the analyze and click on change data source I would still see the content coming up to the 13 pivot tables 
and it is showing me that and if you see the detail here it says desktop slash October 8th October and it's showing me complete path with where the data is stored so uh, that's what it directly keeps links for you so I just escape out of that I go back to the data now if I go ahead and post this or email this uh, guys just give me a couple of minutes because I'm just let me complete this uh, concept and then we will answer again the questions there so Satendra yes I am going to the different workbook and trying to show that so uh, what happens is this is entirely in the different workbook and I go ahead and uh, email this to my boss or my colleague somebody and uh, they have this data in front of them now what happens is I have only summary I do, if I am mailing across this table it will not send the other Excel file which says uh, which contains the data so the way to recover the data is just go ahead and click on this 8000 and as soon as you do a new sheet is open with all the contents in the table format in front of you it gives me in the sorted order as I have in this particular table and that's the way I can get the underlining data of it in case the data sheet is not sent I hope that answered your question Satendra uh, Venkat had another question there uh, which says can can we present the data say grand total in ascending and descending order yes that's the next thing I'm just going to go ahead and show you there uh, so just you guys are just sending me the questions which I'm just going to cover so just hold your horses and yes that is there in the topic I have gone ahead and deleted that and here we have 8000 instead of uh, 7997 because we have added 12 quantities to Harlan so this is the data we have and what happens is I need to go ahead and uh, find out uh, the top three salesperson this though this data is already in the uh, somewhat kind of sorted order uh, one way would be I can go ahead and click on this and go to the home tab and if you see the sorting there I just do A to Z and as soon as I do it has done from smallest to largest the other way I can go ahead and do is largest to smallest uh, and I can do that I can come to the names I can do the same based on which field I'm selecting the sorting would be done however there is another thing that you can get from Excel 2010 as well as Excel 2013 is going ahead and putting the filters for top 10 or top 5 top 3 top 20 based on your data and your content what you can do is you can just click on the drop down says product and you would have here which is called as value filter if you see here there are multiple options that given you can set up your content how you would like to look let's try to find out top three salesperson here so I just go ahead and click on top 10 and once you see here you would see that it is showing me by default 10 what I can do is I can just make it to 3 and just click OK and here you would see it is going to give me the value on the basis of the item numbers that has been sold so top 3 of that so I just click OK I'm sorry it has given me product I should do other way so I go ahead and do it in other way and it's going to give me the top three salesperson there and I just go here and put it on the item numbers again and make it three and click OK so these are the top three salesperson and definitely I should go ahead and reward Harlan because he is my top salesperson there that's the way there could be situation you would like to know people who are making the less sales uh, below your performance and could be you want to know the bottom most performer of your team you can again go to the top 10 instead of having top you take bottom and you take bottom one that's the way you can know who has made the least sales that's Scott you can know in the order who has made least sales by just going ahead and making bottom to bottom four who are the bottom four salesperson and I have the name in the descending order who I'm sorry in the ascending order and that's the way I can find out the details there so I have a question there which says can we have a lock on the pivot table so that no one can change the data uh, that were that uh, 
is possible however that is possible through the protection and that is an another session which is entirely designed uh, which you can uh, view in Edureka site itself which is called as the protection uh, data protection and uh, uh, how to go ahead and lock the cells so that's the way you can go ahead and do that uh, Sharat for now I will just uh, try to concentrate only on the pivot table which is the topic for the day so in case you have any questions you can also write to uh, the Edureka support team and uh, they would forward that to me or they have a panelist who can actually answer to that so let me just move to the very next thing which is about the date grouping we have all this contents here uh, which is about sales and pivot table or pivoting is all about going ahead and putting the data in summary format uh, the way how we can easily understand the detail however if you see here I have all the sales here by region but the data given is in dates every day the sales made so 2011 for uh, 4th January 2011 the data is there and so on so what I should do here is I can just go ahead and do a right click and you get an option called as group so once you okay, there is another question there can we have one pivot table from two table sources yes you can do that uh, uh, and that is covered in one of our uh, sessions which is called as advanced pivoting so yes that is also possible in future yes we will go ahead and uh, do that uh, Nikhil uh, you are saying that you have missed uh, 20 minutes of today's session you would get the recording available within next 24 hours so you can go through that so there is a question from okay you have said thanks okay so I will just proceed further so grouping comes here I just click on grouping and as soon as I do that Excel is intelligent enough to go ahead and take up the content and it shows me the details there so by default it has taken as months so let's see what it gives me I just click on months and immediately you will see month wise it has actually divided the complete data I didn't need it to go ahead and put a formula and convert the dates into month and then go ahead and make a pivot table so you don't need to do all those things directly you can see what or how the sales have been done on month yes it's also possible to select multiple things there so I will just do a right click there and go ahead and click on group and let me also select quarter years and click OK as soon as I do this my data is actually changed uh, to that and I just wanted to tell you that if you would have noticed previously also uh, when I did month I'm just doing a control Z and though the heading says here date it is actually showing me details for month and I have date also here I can and this could be a little confusing so in that scenario what I can do is I can quickly type in month there M O N T H and as soon as I do that you would see on the right hand side you are getting the value there are the field name as month there so I have just gone ahead and changed that and now I just wanted to show you all about the grouping where I was trying to select quarter and years and click OK so it has actually divided the complete content into 2011 2012 quarter wise division and then month wise division and I can see the content there are a few questions let me take them quickly whether pivot table can be made from data in different sheets yes during the starting of session I have shown that uh, uh, Satyendra you can go through the video that would actually show that details not only from different sheet you can do it from different workbook or even from a different uh, source Balaji MK is asking a question is it possible to group the product let's say group A should have bamboo coffee table be yes uh, that is my next agenda item I would be taking that biology just give me a couple of moments there under one pivot table yes absolutely under one pivot table so just give me a couple of moments there and uh, so here we have this and uh, this shows me a summary of what has happened I can quickly do another thing here is uh, I can just move out the month to the filter let it be there and just reverse the order 
So this gives me quarter one analysis quarter two and quarter three analysis for the year 2011 and 2012 for the respective regions So that's the way you can play with the data and give entirely different prospect of it I also wanted to show you what I can do is there could be possibility that uh, Boss could say that's fine quarterly analysis. I already have can you get it done for months? Yes, I can do boss all I do is I remove quarter to the filters I remove out of the data and put month below the year So this gives me the basic thing which is giving me but my boss requirement is I just want to compare January for 2011 and 2012 February for 2011 and 2012 and so on so yes, I can do that just by swapping the content. So now if you see we have January and in January 2011 how much sales was done and in 2012. So yes, it's a definitely positive trend I can see that goes for February. In February I see Northeast had made the more sales compared to 2012 of 179 instead of 93 and then the trend changes and that's the way we can do an analysis now there was a question from Balaji where he wanted to group the contents uh, before getting into that I would just uh, there is a question from Sharat says the option you are using are available in 2000 and uh, 2007 and below 2000 has the grouping but I'm sorry 2007 has the grouping but below that I'm not pretty sure if you can directly get it uh, it's been ages I've used below that so however I will keep your question uh, and I will try to answer you through the forum so let me keep that part uh, as we were seeing this you would also have noticed that uh, there was somebody who has asked me about the total and subtotal so you would see January month with the 2011 and 12 added together it is giving me the value we can also formatize that by going to the design tab and under design tab I have a report layouts and subtotals I can actually decide if I decide that I don't want to show subtotal I can just go to subtotal and say don't show me that would give me the total data and uh, Ranji just give me a couple of moments let me just complete this and then I will just come back to your question about can we have group by year and then drill down to dates yes I would just show you that also just give me a moment there Ranji uh, but that would be not something that would be very much advisable but I would show you how to do the drill down of the data so I have January there but could be possible that I again want to show the subtotal so I just do one thing here is I go ahead and show a subtotal at the bottom uh, it comes very fine I go ahead and show subtotal at the top though I have selected you would see the subtotal has not gone on the top that's because of the report layout currently we have we have the report layout which is in the tabular format if I go ahead and take show in outline format that would give me uh, that would clean the grids as well as take the contents on the top this would take a couple of moments uh, there a couple of practice sessions and you would know which kind of selection would give you what kind of data so I, I would advise if you can go ahead and check out those that would help you a lot and next we will move to the questions about the grouping uh, as there was a question from uh, I think from Balaji where he wanted to group by names and the regions and all those things I will do that for you now Balaji and show others also how to do that and there is some question further there which says can we have group by year uh, okay that's the question is sparked for now uh, which I would be showing uh, then there is another question which says there seems to be some trouble with audio okay uh, so so what I would say is just check with your internet connection uh, however if you are frequently facing this issue you would get the video session soon so you can down uh, view that online too so uh, here I was about to show you how to go ahead and show by dates so my filter remains same I just bring down my quarters also there year quarter month because I have selected that I can go ahead and right click I have taken just to the default view which I was trying to show you earlier I right click I go to the group and I just click one by one on them and remove the content and I select day as soon as I select day it is going to sh by default is showing me one there for the number of days could be possible I am in an organization where the sales is calculated by every two weeks so let's say 14 days 
7 plus 7, 14 days, 7 days a week. So I just type in 14 there and click OK. And you would immediately see my data has been sliced or I would not use the word slice because it's a reserved word uh, in terms of pivot. But it has broken up the data at a range of 14 days interval. And it has grouped the content and it is showing me the details there so you have to find out based on your data what you are displaying you can actually find multiple things you can break down between hours minute but for this particular set of data I don't think so this would be very good uh, set of data to show how hour and minute I hope that answered your question Balaji under one pivot table itself and uh, there is a question from uh, Subbarao Subbarao uh, you asked me can we have one pivot table from two tables of data sources yes Subarao that's what I'm sorry that was a old question yes I have answered that wherein yes I said so there is another question so question says that can I, I came late okay so you can get the videos there uh, there is a question from Prabhas where he asked that what is the significance of the option differ layout updates uh, there is a defer layout updates. Yes, at times we don't want to go ahead and make uh, updates immediately when we press an uh, Alt and Alt F5. So in that scenario, I can just go ahead and defer that by using that, but that would be coming in the advanced function of it. Uh, uh, I would just uh, hold on the questions. I have multiple questions pouring in. So. I would just move to the next section where Balaji is asking about can I group the products yes we can do that and that's about the other groupings I have I have sorted out the contents by regions and I have also sorted out the contents by products so if I want to go ahead and add up additional grouping what I will do is let's say for this scenario we have Northwest Northeast Northwest Southeast and Southwest arbitrary let's take an assumption that we want to make all east content together and all west content together so let me just click on southeast and as soon as my pointer changes to four sided arrow I can drag it to the right left and put it next to the northeast so I have the content and all I need to do is highlight northeast and southeast and do a right click and make it as group as soon as I do it shows me a group one name I can make the name as East E A S T and if you see at the right hand side I am started getting all those things coming up there I just move to the next one and let me also make Northwest and Southwest together so I will just highlight them and do a right click and make Northwest and Southwest group and make it as West so that's the way I have grouping on the top headings and I can minimize the content there by seeing in west uh, east and west and that gives me the total details and now I see that I have two contents for bamboo uh, made out of bamboo one is for bamboo coffee table and other is for bamboo end table and rest is different different kind of content so I can do that uh, row wise also so I just highlight both of them right click and go ahead and group them again as soon as I do it has changed the name and I can make this group name as bamboo A -M -B -O -O. so I just click that and if I minimize that all I see here is bamboos recl uh, reclines couches and so on so that's the way we can group the contents there that would help so I hope Balaji that gave the answer to the question you had uh, how flexible pivot table is with Oracle and database uh, Zulfikar uh, for this particular session uh, that is not what we are trying to discuss however uh, I have not directly ever connected with Oracle but I know that it is possible to go ahead and do that uh, so that would be something which is out of this uh, content that we are covering there is Vikrant who asked me question how we can highlight a column like top three etc and how we can get highlighted the column in the columns like top three okay I will I will redo that for you Selvan is it possible to count how many customers are there in our region yes Selvan it is possible uh, so what I can do is I'll just quickly make a pivot table there with the data so I have the data here or rather let me take the same data here I have this one and I just remove the filters because that would 
make the difference so I just copy this put it here and I just have the customer name I move out the content I move out this also I might make my pivot table very much blank I just take the customer names there and I put my regions so I have regions here I put that and again I take customer and drop it here so here comes my customer details uh, with the count by default it's giving me the count there by region I hope that answered your question Selvam so let me quickly move to the other thing which is uh, the slicers which is available from Excel 2013 onwards below versions don't contain that by default so uh, uh, slicers is an advanced feature that has been provided uh, to quickly tackle the situation where we have all this uh, contents which we see and uh, all we have to if we want to put any kind of filters we have to go ahead and drop down the contents and then select among them like just now I'm doing for salesperson or modify the contents and this is not that easy uh, Prabhash Panda has asked me 2013 version also have the option of slicers oh that's uh, I have not used it uh, as per my understanding by default it doesn't comes in we have to enable the plugin but 2013 gives it by default in the tab itself and uh, I hope that answered your question how can I get a uh, segregated quarter wise details Balaji just give me a moment that's what I covered during the starting of the uh, content so I would uh, try to give at last one more again uh, how to segregate the contents or uh, you can also watch the videos graphs and charts we would be coming up as the next content so let me quickly come back to the slicer topic so this is my pivot table and if you go to the analyze tab you have an option called as insert slicer there so as soon as I click on that it actually pulls up all the fields which I see on the left uh, with the contents here so if I now want to go ahead and work together with this I can go ahead and click on salesperson product region customer whatever I feel I can go ahead and select that there I've just taken four to give a meaningful form out of it I just go ahead and click on OK I have the slices coming up there four, four things I have selected and all of four all four of them have come I should quickly go ahead and uh, make arrangement of the content there so just give me a moment uh, northeast northwest these are pretty small field I don't need that huge kind of uh, table there what I can do is I can go to the options and in the options tab I can increase the number of columns and it has just made two columns that way I can save the space there I can have the other content coming up for me and I just click out and make it a little bigger so it looks good and same goes here I can have the formatting done for all this table based on the content now once I have all the slices arranged for me I can actually go ahead and uh, click on them and based on like let's say for bamboo coffee table how many products were sales sold by which uh, person salesperson I can just click I can get the content there I can hold the control key and select multiple contents there I can click on that and un make the changes there also if you see here uh, my pivot table is as my pivot tables are moving my contents are also moving to avoid such kind of situation what you can do is you can right click on the pivot table and go ahead and click on pivot table options this brings up a new window in front of you where you at the bottom of the very first uh, tab which says layout and format you would say uh, auto fit column width on update preserve column data so I can just go ahead and, and unselect them and based on this now however based on this the changing of the content would go ahead and move let me take this to the right also so that I don't get any hindrance on the view and uh, that's the way I can make the, okay now I can do another thing here is I can see how much was done in Northeast I can go ahead and make customer detail if I select a particular customer who all have made the sales so like this so as soon as I make the selection the things which are not related would get unhighlighted or I would say not highlighted in the other other tables so other uh, slicers 
so that's the way i can give the control and that's the way i can go ahead and do a dynamic dashboard kind of content to be available for people there so now to remove those filters if you see on the top right uh, there shows and red color x that's not for closing up but it's about clearing the filter you can do an alt c also to clear the filter there and that's the way i have removed it uh, can we do grouping in slicer slicer can we do grouping in slicer slicers is actually the grouping of the content so we would not need a separate grouping to do in the slicer itself because as I was showing you an example if I go ahead and select ash bright there so ash brides related content would be only shown here uh, so ash has sold all the products in southeast and the customers are here the list of customers are here so that's the way we can take control of it. I hope that answered your question Ramanathan. So next thing I would quickly move and a lot of people are asking about the graphs and charts with the pivot table. So let me move to that. Uh, that's my next topic and here is the content. The table is exactly the same table. Uh, all I need to do to insert a graph or chart is just to highlight on the data. Uh, go to the insert and in insert in the center you would find pivot chart I can just go ahead and drop down that and select pivot chart as soon as I do that it shows me in, earlier we were showing create pivot table now it's showing a window which says pivot chart there so uh, I would just go ahead and click on okay instead of uh, all this time I have shown you doing in a new sheet let me do in an existing sheet so I select existing sheet click on locations and just take it on J1 click on OK there as soon as I do it has just put two things in front of me one is the chart window the other one is the pivot table so this both are related there and I can quickly go ahead and try to make out the same table or chart as I was dis uh, discussing earlier so let me take the salesperson there to keep it simple I take the salesperson I take the item number as the values there and I take the products so if you see here I immediately get the chart there I get the content there on the top uh, and I can control either of the things from uh, whichever place I would like to either I can go to the tables and put a filter and select only for bamboo table that would make change in my graph as well or I can come to the graph and I can make the changes uh, I have made a change of bamboo table there coffee table I select the remaining things there and click OK so respective things have changed in the table as well as in the graph now uh, at times this becomes you would need to go ahead and change the graph and the details yes you can do that you can click on the graph you can go to the design and you get uh, multiple options here change the chart type as soon as you click on that you get the options the regular chart options uh, you can go ahead and have a combo charts you can have the line charts you can have the column charts bar charts pi would be not suggested here because that would not give me very normal kind of the details there there is a question from Selvam where in Edwin Selvam where in asked is so can I have the slicers and pivot table in a PowerPoint and if no slicers don't go into pivot uh, in the PowerPoint you can take is only the chart or the table you cannot take that is the Vikrant asked me is there is an always a backward compatibility to open in 2003 no this features are explicitly for the newer version of Excel uh, Milan asks, can I have multiple chart for the same pivot table yes absolutely you can have multiple charts for the same pivot table I was about to show that so all I can do is I can copy this this is one view of the data let me just go ahead I have copied that I place it here I have a second chart and all I do is I go ahead and switch the chart but this is simultaneously making the changes so we have to ensure that uh, the data's are broken and data broken from, from this would be taking a little different way uh, which might confuse you at this point so from same pivot table if you want to have multiple charts there you can take an another way because this links both the charts and tables and that question was I think from Vikrant no it was from 
Milan. So uh, Milan, uh, in that case, if you want to have different different details to be displayed in the different charts what you can do is you can take up uh, a separate pivot table altogether and make a separate chart but you can link both that pivot table I miss the same thing in uh, slices also let me get back to the slices quickly so let me go here and let me try to put these slices there so if you see here I have slices for the content and let me just try to show this uh, that is I just take the pivot table I put it here and I have slicer and I want to make this display to be based on the uh, let me make it by region so I just remove the salesperson there out and make it region and I have the content uh, and if you see here I have got the replication of the uh, the slices there I will just go ahead and delete the slices from there just give me a moment and I will freshly make a slicer for all of you I have just selected one pivot table there and I just go to the analyze tab and make a slicer and I take salesperson product region customer and this is slicers this slicers are going to be there only for the first one what I can do is I can immediately go to the report connection and I will see all the listings of pivot tables there so what I can do is I can just check the name of this particular pivot table that second I have created and that's pivot table 11 so I come back to all the slicers I highlight them and just go to option go to oops, I just come here highlight the option go to this and just select pivot table 11 also and click OK now this slicers are connected for both the pivot table so if I select any one I would see the details changing for both of the table I hope that answered your question there uh, Vikrant uh, I'm sorry I took mistook your question I think you say if make uh, no no so if I make it in 2013 can I take it to 2003 no if you make it in 2013 you cannot take because backward compatibility would not work out there so I get back to the pivot chart so that gave me the flexibility of adding up the data in the pivot chart I can make all chart changes but at times it's possible that you would not like to have this contents uh, like this filters in the chart all you want to have the control from the pivot table itself so in that scenario what you can do is you can right click on the buttons there you have and you can go ahead and hide the button or all field buttons as soon as you do you get the contents there now you can do the purification of your pivot table I usually like this particular view you can make the changes to the content and you can deal it like your regular chart itself so that's called as pivot charting and this goes exactly the same way how we have for the regular charts all those features are also available here so that brings me towards the end of the se session so uh, if there is any question you guys can let me know and meantime you guys shoot me question let me just cover the very last topic that I have left for the end and I'm just deleting this pivot chart I'm leaving the chart the uh, table there I have the contents there uh, and this is about at times we would need to have some calculations to be performed on the contents so this is the product sold and I for example I just quickly go on to go ahead and enter how much sales also I have made so what I can do is I can just go ahead and have the data in front of me I can go to the analyze tab and under analyze tab you have a function button there uh, if you see here FX it is written there which says as field items and set you can click on that you can say calculate field that opens up a new window in front of you and here you can insert any calculation you would like to have so for example let me say mm, this this name as total and here what I will do is I will do is I will just go ahead and insert is total cost or rather item cost would be the very appropriate content there so I will take item cost into the total number of items sold and as soon as I do I can go ahead and click on add 
or click OK directly and what it does is it adds there and click OK so a field is added for you and if you see in the pivot table now you have the how much sales has been also made by that particular person this was a pretty simple example however this helped you uh, this would help you in doing the formulation of the content you can use the same method uh, by entering multiple formula and it can take any kind of complex formula there with all the fields which is available so that's what you can do you can also go ahead and remove if you want by clicking here and click on delete or you can come here and you can right click or you can go ahead and unselect that and that will remove the content from your table so i hope that helped you in understanding that vikrant by formulas yes it could be done by formulas also uh, can we hide a row or column and do a pivot table does it works uh, let me show you this live example of that so we have the data there itself here itself at the right hand side I go ahead and hide the number of items hide so Sharath we have the content there we have the table here I just go ahead and refresh this particular table right click click on refresh your content is still the same it would not make any kind of changes there so you can hide and still you can continue to do a pivot table there you can even go ahead and hide the sheet and keep the pivot table in different table I'm um, just a different sheet and still it will work as it is so I hope that answered your question Sharat and that was you asked me earlier also uh, so I hope that answered your question Sharat so anybody having any particular question regarding pivot table so no questions so I think that helped okay I do see uh, can you share the Excel sheets for further practice absolutely I will do that that would be available on the website uh, once the video is selected let me just remind you this sheet was available on internet so you can also uh, go ahead and get downloaded from internet by searching with the name pivot tables you will get multiple sessions uh, multiple sheets there uh, Nickel, yes we would have other sessions also I would request you to go ahead and uh, visit the uh, Edureka site there you would get all the updates usually this kind of sessions we have uh, various days of the week so uh, you have to visit on the site edureka.co and there you will get the details uh, there was a question from R Ranjit where he wanted to know about the drill down so I'll just uh, ask Ranjit I have shown this earlier also during the session uh, and I've shown you by showing the underlining data yes we can do the drill down of the data by going ahead and clicking on the data and the content and that would open in the drill down view of the content there uh, but one challenge that comes is if post doing this double click and getting the output there uh, in that scenario uh, if you go ahead and change the base data uh, the data which is there in the sheet uh, and if you go ahead and do that uh, that would not reflect in your drill down sheet you, every time you do a drill down or go ahead and get a data in a separate sheet after a refresh you have to ensure that you go ahead and make that sheet again uh, I'm just getting towards the closing of the session so uh, there was a question uh, from Sharad there again yes you would get the recording of it how to modify the date format for by using the value filter in the date is not in a default format you can go ahead and if date is not in the default format let me see if I have yes date grouping is there and let me also go ahead and as I showed earlier also if it is not in default format still you want to divide it into month or year or all those things you can use the existing grouping that would go ahead and do that for you I have just right click and did the grouping there uh, for the dates you can also go ahead and bring it in the default form uh, default view of this which is available you can do a control one and that would open up the that's the shortcut for opening the formatting window and here you can select like for example I'm selecting the uh, month and the year format I just click OK and it changes the format for me so I hope that answered your question Sharath uh, so yes this brings us to the end of uh, okay Neol D'Souza has asked how to get your previous session recording mailed to us uh, you can just visit to the Edureka site and you would actually get the contents there itself uh, and uh, you can keep track of that that would help you uh, Neol so uh, 
that's it for the day uh, I hope this session was informative for all of you and in case you have any questions you can write to support at edureka and keep visiting the site for more details of upcoming sessions and the information thank you all goodbye